Welcome fellow travelers, Mom Maven here, and I'm happy to bring you a review of this beautiful paradise planet. We're in Euclid in a Corvax Tier 3 economy. We'll check out the characteristics of this planet, and then we'll jump up and take a look at the rest of the planets in the system. We'll go to the space station and check out the ships there and the S-Class upgrades, and then we'll round it out by coming back here and giving this planet a vibe score. If you like the vibe of this planet and want to build a base, Please do so, but be aware of other bases in your surroundings. We'll show glyphs throughout, so let's get to it. All right, starting out here, taking a look at our beautiful flora. Uh, this one has kind of a meadow look uh, with some meadow grasses, some really pretty aqua colors into green uh, that matches the sky. So for the most part here, we don't have a whole lot of trees. But we do have some really pretty uh, kind of wild flowers, some different colored long grasses and short grasses that go along with our purple ferns here we see, and some, some other uh, turquoise and purples and oranges that really, really go well uh, with the water down, down there and also the sky. So it's just got a, a really nice color palette here in our flora. As far as our fauna, you can see them kind of in the distance there. We have some, some flying guys here. Those can actually be ridden and used as a companion if you like. Those are, those are a lot of fun. They also glow at night. Um, you can kind of tell a little bit here as we're, as we're taking a look at them, but those do glow at night and it looks really, really great. Um, some more fauna that um, we wanted to look at too is, are these uh, kind of fin heads down here. Uh, we've looked at some fin heads before. Um, and I'll, I'll put a link up there in the top right uh, to, the, to the review of that. This one's kind of stuck right now, but um, you can see kind of a cool fin on his, on his head there. Of course, the, you can grab one of those as a companion. Again, nice complementary colors and turquoises, etc. With our, with our aqua turquoise grass and everything. And uh, if those get close enough to the ground, you can feed them a creature pellet, those glowing guys too. Uh, so there's a couple of our... Uh, our flora there and and here's a, a bit of our uh, excuse me that was our fauna here's a little bit more of our flora just some of the some of these dense ferns nice wildflowers and yellows and purples and greens really looking beautiful here check this out we found one uh, we get to see a little bit of our glowing as our our sunset goes down we can ride this guy kind of down through here um, and so you can grab one of these as a companion, of course. But let's talk about our topography. Our, uh, as you can kind of see here, we've got a lot of um, kind of boulders and rocks and, and different things here. Uh, it's kind of switching around on me kind of funny, but um, <laughs> orange water and a lot of boulders and broken up mountains, um, a lot of ranges and so forth as far as our topography. And uh, so I just wanted you guys to kind of see a little bit of this bird's eye view and also this cool glowing companion you can come and get. As far as resources for this one, we have starbolt, copper, paraffinium, and salt. So fairly common resources there for a paradise planet. Over here on our weather, we have mellow weather, of course. Uh, Sentinel's low, of course, you're not gonna mess with any Sentinels, and they're not gonna mess with you unless you go to like a secure building or something like that. So no worries about storms on a paradise planet, of course, so nice to build, etc. And then uh, no worries of any Sentinels messing with you either. Okay, I did want to hop down here real quick and show you these caves. So our blues and aquas and greens kind of spill over here into our, our cave area as well with some nice glowing uh, bulbs there and uh, a little bit of our uh, stalactites and stalagmites going on. Uh, also grass carrying over into here and a bit of the kind of sand areas as well. So looking good under here. All right, out here in space, we'll check out the rest of the planets in this system. I did go down and grab a screenshot of each of these so you can check them out kind of before you go or <laughs> decide to go. So uh, let's get to it here. Of course, our paradise planet we've been looking at. And let's move over here. And here's a high energy planet. Uh, this one has uh, some blue sky and purple ground. Not bad looking at all. Um, we'll come up here. This is a uh, bleak 
planet. Uh, this has some bone cats. Uh, I got a screenshot of that for you. Uh, lots of cacti. And then the caves also are bright red inside, kind of a bright red glow. Kind of cool to check out. Let's hop over here. We have a toxic planet. Of course, some ancient bones there. And uh, lots of purple and some mega mushrooms that look pretty nice, uh, along with the rings of the planet on that one. And then as we come around here, uh, we have our uh, scorched planet. Uh, this one has kind of a golden red look with some kind of torn palm and bulb look. Uh, it's an extreme planet. You can get some selenium there, though, so that's not bad. Okay, and then uh, rounding it out here, our sixth planet is a obsidian bead planet. Um, this is another extreme planet. Lots of hazards, uh, walls of flame, etc. So <laughs> watch out for that one, but uh, cool to check out. Okay, just did a reload up here in the station and stood next to my white explorer that's black back there. Um, and let's let's check these ships out. This is our first wave, so uh, I'll put up some screenshots of some of these as that uh, hauler heads out there. We've got a blue and red hauler here. So in any uh, system, you're going to have 21 different configurations of ships. That's things like the, the wings, like this explorer here, kind of the cockpit shape, etc. cetera, the, the uh, engines and things like that. That'll kind of give you your configurations. So for this one, since we're in a Corvax Tier 3 economy, uh, we're going to have seven different types of explorers, which is this type right here. Uh, that one back there is mine, so it's not available here, but uh, this is one of them here. Uh, again, I'll put up some screenshots of some of the ones that I liked. So you're going to have seven of those, and then you're going to have three different haulers. We've actually seen two of those already. And then you're going to have uh, three fighters, and you're also going to have seven shuttles, and then you're going to have one exotic. Yes, there's one exotic in every system. They're all different. Uh, so. I was not able to find the one here, uh, but feel free to come check it out if you want to. If you want to find it, all right. As we watch this fighter here come in, uh, this is one of our fighters uh, for the system. Kind of a, a nice uh, bottlenose, kind of cream and red there. Uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, so we're gonna hop up over here and we're gonna check out the S class upgrades that are available right over there on the left hand side as you come in. All right, it's a few more. Ships come in and out here of our space station. Uh, let's talk S-Class upgrades. Uh, these were gathered on the PC, so your results may vary slightly here, but uh, let's start with the exosuit. You have a toxic protection module there. For the exocraft, you have the Minotaur cannon and the exocraft cannon. For the starship, you only have the positron module. For the multi-tool, it is an A-Class cabinet. And then you have a bolt caster, scanner, and pulse splitter upgrades that over there. All S-Class, of course. Not too bad. Uh, notable things for sale over on the right uh, as, we're, as we're coming in here. Uh, we do have ionized cobalt for sale. So if you like to flip some cobalt, it's not a bad place to do that or just buy some and start from there. Okay, at this point, we're going to hop down to our paradise planet and give this one a vibe score. I'll see you down there. Now it's time to give this planet a vibe score. The vibe score I give a planet is a measurement of just kind of how it makes me feel just to hang out and vibe for a while. It's very subjective, but it takes into account all the different factors, such as the the nice aqua grass here into green and the and the aqua uh, the aqua sky as well, uh, with the orange going really well with these purples and aquas and uh, oranges and yellows in our in our kind of meadow look here with our our flowers and ferns and different things just a really really pretty planet um, going with the sky there as well and some of our our really cool flying fauna that glow at night that we saw earlier uh, really give it a nice uh, vibe and um, it's definitely a, a pretty nice place to hang out. Uh, so couple that with five other planets to go check out uh, with our maximum of six, of course. Uh, and we also have a nice tier three economy, um, some, some pretty good looking ships. Uh, this, is a, this is a nice one. I'm going to give this one a seven out of ten. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to catch that vibe.